Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to calculate average power and apparent power. In this particular problem we have asked to find out the average power and the apparent power supplied to the load, average power and apparent power lost in the transmission line. This is our transmission line, this is our load and average power, average and apparent power supplied by the source. This is our source right here, okay. And also they are asking to find out the power factor of the source. Now let's go, go through the order. The first one is asking average power and the apparent power supplied to the load. In order to do this, first we have to find out the current current here, right? Now to find the current, we are going to use the KVL. If we apply KVL, this is going to be negative 440 because this current is going negative to positive. So that's going to be negative 440. And the angle is zero since we don't have any angle provided. So this is zero. And then this is going through this 1.5 ohm resistor. So we are going to have one plus 1.5 I. And after that we have this 10 plus J2 times I. That's equal to zero. Now we can add these two together, right? This is going to become 11.5 plus J2 I. And if I move this one to the other side, this is going to become plus 440 zero degree therefore i is going to be equal to 440 zero degree divided by 11.5 plus j2 okay and if you calculate this one you're going to get 37.7 negative 9.9 .9 degree so this is our current and then we had to find out the voltage of the load because first we are going to calculate average power and the apparent power supplied to the load so we need the voltage of the load. Since we know the impedance here, we can calculate because V is equal to IZ. And we know the I here. I is 37.7 negative 9.9 .9 degree times the impedance is 10 plus J2 across in the load. That is 10 plus J2. And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 384.4 angle is going to be 1.4 degree right voltage and this is going to be our voltage across the load let's put VL now to find the average power we have to use this equation P is equal to V RMS I RMS cos theta V minus theta I okay there's also another equation that is P is equal to half V max I max cos theta V minus theta I but we cannot use the second one because we have the voltage in RMS right so we can use the first one that's easier right so let's get rid of the second one we are going to apply the first one we know the V RMS that is 384.4 and then we know the I RMS that is 37.7 and then we are going to plug the angles cos theta v theta v is the angle of the voltage and the angle of the voltage here is 1.4 degree 1.4 degree and then the angle of the current is negative 9.9 .9, but if you put minus this is going to be minus minus that's going to make this one plus you are going to have plus 9.9 .9 degree okay and if you calculate this one you are going to get 14,211 watts and if in kilowatts that's going to be just 14.2 kilowatts now this is the average power let's try this one with a different color this is average power now to find the apparent power apparent power so supply to the load right load now to find the apparent power we are going to use another equation that is apparent power is equal to V RMS times I RMS okay so we just multiply the first values that's going to be 384.4 times 37.7 and that's going to give you 14,492 watts ampere because volts ampere because apparent power we always express in volt ampere and uh, average power always in watts okay and then in kilowatts this is going to be 14.5 kilo 
volts ampere okay so this is the average power and apparent power supplied to the load now we have done the first part now let's look at the second part second part is asking average power and the apparent power lost in the transmission line okay so let's get rid of this one because we don't need this one anymore we are done with the first part let's do the second part right now we need the current we don't need the voltage across the load okay okay let's continue the second part second part is asking average power and the apparent power lost in the transmission line now here we have the current in the transmission line let's see what's going to be the voltage voltage is equal to iz in our case i is the same thing that's going to be 37.7 negative 9.9 .9. and then the impedance is going to be just 1.5 ohm 1.5 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 4 okay this is going to be just 56.6 negative 9.9 .9 degree okay this is our voltage this is our voltage and then we are going to start with the average power to find the average let's write this one average power we are we are doing the second one right second one average power the average power equation is given by v rms times i rms cos theta v minus theta i okay now let's go ahead and plug the values v rms is this one 56.6 and i rms let's write this clearly 56.6 and the i rms is going to be this value 37.7 .7, and the angle of course is going to be angle of uh, theta v that's going to be angle of this voltage that's negative 9.9 .9. and then we are going to add this one because minus minus this is going to make this one plus so here we're going to have plus 9.9 .9, okay so this is going to give us cos 0 degree cos 0 is 1 so this is going to be just multiplication of these two that's going to give us 2133.82 watts okay and in kilowatts this is going to be just 2.133 kilowatts now we have found out the average power now to find the apparent power we are going to use a different equation that is going to be just vrms times irms okay apparent power apparent power that's going to be equivalent to v rms times i rms and that's going to be 56.6 times 37.7 .7. here we are going to have the same value because here we had cos 0 degree it means just one we just multiply this one by one it means it's going to be same value for this one too if you calculate this one you're going to get 2133.82 this is going to be volt ampere and in kilovolts ampere this is going to be 2.133 kilovolts ampere okay so this is the upper average power and the apparent power lost in the transmission line now let's go to the source okay let's get rid of this part okay it's going to be the same equation to calculate first start with let's start with the average power average power okay, for average power we are going to use the equation v rms we are done with this part we are doing the third one okay v rms times i rms times cos theta v minus theta i now v rms is the voltage of the source that's 440 and i rms is this one 37.7 and the angle for the voltage is zero since we don't have any angle provided this is going to be just zero and the angle for the i is negative 9.9 .9, so that's going to become minus minus that's going to become plus so we are going to have plus 9.9 .9. and if you calculate this one you're going to get this one is going to give you 16,000 
341 watts okay in kilowatts this is going to be 16.34 kilowatts now we are not putting like if the question has mentioned like supplied if it's absorbed we have to put a negative in front okay if it's supplied we don't have to put that's why we are having positive value now let's go to the apparent power apparent power to calculate the apparent power we just have to use this equation that is vrms times irms and that's going to be 440 times 37.7 .7, and that's going to give us 16,588 volts ampere okay and in kilowatts we are go kilovolts ampere we are going to have 16.59 kilovolts ampere and uh, that's going to be it and let's do the last part the last part is power factor of the source now let's get rid of these parts okay let's uh, get rid of this calculation okay this is our i value now let's continue the last part here okay we are trying to find the power power factor to find the power factor there are two different equations you can use you can use cos theta v minus theta i or you can use upper uh, average power over upper, upper average power over upper and power okay average power over apparent power so both of them are going to give you the same answer you can just plug and see like cos theta v is zero right zero minus minus that's going to become plus because we have the current negative 9.9 .9 degree so this is going to be minus minus that's going to make this one plus 9.9 .9 degree and also you can try plugging these values here we have this uh, average power is equal to 16,341 divided by 16,588 and if you calculate these two you will get the same answer you will get 0 0.985 0 0.985 for both of them you will get 0. 0. 0.985 okay and that's gonna and lagging and that's gonna be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching